Hello guys, my name is Duke Hoster and welcome back to Programming in Python. Um, so in the last episode, or last lesson, we looked at how to output to the screen. Today we're going to be looking at something called store, um, variables. We're going to be looking at how can we store data inside a variable. Now, some of you lot might be wondering what the hell is a variable. Now, a variable is just a name which actually just stores some data inside of it. And we're going to be looking at how this works. Now, variables can store different types of data. And we'll be looking at different types of data as well. Text, so uh, my name, Diogo, um, will be a string. And a number, like 5, will be an integer. These are different data types that exist in, com in computing. And different program languages do have different types of data types and their way of storing variables are all different. In Python, it's quite easy to store a variable, and I'll be explaining to you how to store a variable. <laughs> uh, the first task, task 2a, is copy and run the following program. So let's copy it. Name equals, I'm actually going to put a space there, because I think it looks neater. Bob, print, hello, space, make this neater by adding some spaces and let's save this this is the second lesson so I just did control s to save it's gonna be storing data in variables okay so name equals Bob print hello plus name and it does this hello Bob so let me explain to you what's going on over here so what I'm doing first of all is I'm creating a variable called name and I'm storing the string Bob. So I'm storing some, some piece of data into name. So um, if you lot have done maths, pre, uh, some algebra in maths, you have stuff like, oh, find what X is. So like X is a variable. It, can, it contains some piece of data and you need to find out what it is. That's when you look at algebra and mathematical terms. In programming, we use variables just to store some piece of data. And what we are, what, what we can do is we can store quite a lot of piece of data in just a variable. And what's nice about it is we can always just tell it, oh, print this, do this with this. We won't have to be repeating or, you know, uh, instead of having to do print, um, we don't have to be doing print, hello, Bob, we can, and we, and this is changeable. So... It just makes life easier. Variables um, contain letters and numbers, and usually you want to start with a letter when naming your variables. There are different ways to name your variables. Uh, there are different naming conventions, such as snake case and camel case, which you can do research on. And these are the ways that you name your variables. There are, diff there are different uh, other conventions as well. So what I'm basically just doing is storing a piece of data called Bob. Then on the print function, I'm telling it, print hello plus whatever is inside the variable name. So let's go for this. Print hello. And there will be a, there is actually a space there and I'll explain to you why soon. I'm saying plus, and what this means, add on to this statement, the data inside of name. I want the data inside of name. So, um... So as, I, as, I've, uh, as I've shown before, hello Bob appears. What if we were to remove this space? What happened is, hello Bob will be together. The reason for that is that plus, like you see here, does not create an automatic space. Right, you need to have a space in this string to actually separate it. Right? Just, uh, that's just a warning because a lot of people... I know when, when, uh, a lot of people make this mistake, um, and so have I. I forget to put a space, and then my and then whatever it prints out just looks ridiculous. <laughs> it just doesn't look good. So let's put a space there. The next task is to be start a program with language equals Python. Print I'm learning. I'm learning to program in. Remind remind. Remainder of program here. So remainder program. Okay, I know what they want. So what they want us to basically do is they want us to write this plus whatever's inside of language. 
So I'm just going to copy this. So I'm highlighting it and I'm pressing Control C, and I'm pasting it with using Control V. And I'm just going to change off um, this. And the little programs do do uh, do this because copy and pasting is amazing, and it just less time is wasted. I am learning and it avoids any errors because you might do something bad, you might do a mistake. So the copy and paste just provides a lovely template to avoid mistakes. And a print. I'm learning to program in Python. And we're missing a space. Let's put a space there. I'm learning to program in Python. There we go. So that works. So the next task is we change the value of a variable at a point. The code name equals Bob, name equals Liz print hello plus name. Now this is what I was talking about previously. You are able to change the values of your variables. So if I copy name plus Bob and then change that to Liz, this is what's going to happen. It's going to print hello Liz. The reason for this is it, put, it assigns Bob as, as the value inside of it. It assigns Bob as as the value inside of the name variable, but then it but then it replaces it with Liz because when you have two variables of the same name, it's Python going to assume you want to replace the value. So whenever you're doing variables and you don't don't wish to replace it, chain have different variable names, right? Because if you have the same variable name, Python's going to assume oh you want to replace it. Let's just replace it then. So uh, as I've shown you over here, hello Liz. There you go. Yep, we'll print hello Liz as the variable name has has been overwritten with the value Liz. We can also change the contents of variable referring to itself. So what this is mean, well, what this is uh, saying is we can actually add on um, more data onto the name variable, and we do this like this. So let's say we want to change. So as the task saying, let's. Let, we want to print hello Bobby instead. What we'll do is we'll say Bob, my well, name equals Bob. So we're, we're, we're assigning Bob to the variable again. And I'm just keeping these, um, I'm just keeping these uh, lines of code because those were the tasks. And if you guys would like to look back to the, uh, look back to the, this, you will see how it's done for the tasks. Because all, all of the Python programming uh, files will be also available in the video description. So name equals name. Then we do plus. And the PDF doesn't put spaces, but I think it just looks more clear and better with spaces. Because with this, it just looks all jumbled up. I like it. I like some spaces. B. Y. I'll be explaining this code as soon as we run it. I'll explain it. Hello. Plus name. So when we run it, we say hello Bobby over here. We see hello Bobby, we don't say it. <laughs> so what this is doing is we're assigning Bob to be the value inside the name. Then we're saying let's change name to let's change the variable name to equal name, which is Bob, plus let's add by to it, making it Bobby. So we're saying let's take the variable name, right? We'll, we're going to assign, which is what, which is the technical word for it. When you when you're giving data into a value, when you when you're putting data into a variable, I mean, you use the word assign. I'm assigning this piece of data to this variable. So I'm assigning the uh, the current the current variable value Bob to the name variable again, and I'm adding by. The reason you have to do this is because, let's say, I remove that. What happened, it was just say hello, bye. It requires this. It requires for you to say, again, Bob. So I could I could say Bob instead of name, but let's just use name. You are required to do this, and you'll see that a lot. You are required to say, with variables, name equals, then you have to repeat it again. You'll see that as well when we do one of these stuff like adding, multiplying, 
some basic arithmetic, you'll see how when you wish to do that, you will have to repeat the variable. You have to say the variable name equals the variable name plus this. Because we are assigning. We're assigning Bob plus B1. What you could also do actually is you could just say name equals Bobby. But for reasons the task wants us to do it like this, so we're going to do it like this. Now, okay, so the next one, let's see what it says. Whereas name equals, okay, let's copy this. Let's just copy my bit, put it over here. So what you could also do is just add some spaces. If you wish to print Bob Bob, again, this I'm sure will help you to understand. I want the name to equal the current name value plus the, the, the current name value again, which will give us Bob Bob. Hello, Bob Bob. Oh, don't want to print it. Okay. Okay. So it's not, it's not all done yet, guys. We still have a few more tasks over here. So we can add spaces just like any other letter. Okay. So let's see what they... So they want us to add a space between uh, Bob. And the way you do this is you do it similar to how you do over here. Over here, I just added a space. We're going to do something similar again over here. So if we just copy and paste this, Control c Control v to add a space is again, all we just have to do is do speech mark, well punctuation mark plus, not plus, space, punctuation mark, and that just creates us a little space for us. So that now when we print it out, it says, hello, Bob, space, Bob. That's it. Task 2C, complete the following program so use the variable to print out the cat sat on, sat on the map. Remember, you need to add spaces. So let's do that. So let's copy this currently. We're just going to control C and control V. Gonna add. Add some spaces. So let's make this a bit bigger. So, the cat sat on, we don't got the, the, it's not there, the cat sat on map. Okay, let's change this to word 6, and let's copy word 4, variable, let's change it to word 5, the cat sat on the mat. And, let's print this out, so we're going to say, word 1, plus word two. And what I'm doing guys is I'm just double clicking on word two and it selects all of it for me. And then control C, control V. Again, it's quicker than just having to highlight it, you know? Just double click on it and it highlights the word. So let's F5 that. The cat sat on the map. And we need some spaces. Remember, you will need to add spaces. Now, there are two ways we could add spaces. What we could do is we could add spaces over here. And what that will look like is we have to do this. But that looks like it will be quite long. It will make this, this line of code very long. So instead, what we could just do is we could be a bit smart. And we could just add a space on each of these variables. If we just add a space on each of them, they will count as a space over here. And there we go, the cats are on the map. Done. We don't need it on the map. We don't need a space on that because there's no other word. But there you go, see? It's, I think it's just easier than just having to do this for every single one. So there we go. That'll be it for um, storing data to variables. Come by to the next lesson, or watch the next video, to uh, see how we input data. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys very soon.
Goodbye.